Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Hey guys. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing good. I'm, uh, Feeling a little, uh, I feel like I haven't, like, completely woken up yet today for some reason. My, my brain isn't, isn't fully here yet. So I'm just going to warm up by riffing a little bit on the piano. Oh, is the piano a little quiet? It's reading here like it's a pretty decent volume, especially compared to my voice. Um... You guys want to give me a, a key to improvise in? We got some good stuff here. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's start off. Let's start off with uh, with some F major. Start off easy.
we're back at F. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't mean to hit, hit those last notes. Um, I was, uh, I was thinking about the 24 hour stream. I'm not sure if this weekend is the best time to do it. Um, originally I was really excited about, um, just getting my stream going and everything. And, um, I thought I was going to have all my assets in order by this weekend, but, um, it's looking like that might take a little bit longer. Um, but yeah. Let's see. I'm not sure what I want to work on today. Um, I was thinking I could start off by uh, recording just a few different chords and then uh, rendering them and sampling them and see if that produces any interesting results. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, let's just let's just go with uh let's just do C. Let's just uh, quantize these guys. Let's duplicate this. Um, just because I still want the the piano to mess around with later on probably uh, let's let's freeze this I'll flatten it and I think couldn't I just isn't there like a convert to a slice to new MIDI track let's see if it's based on the transient that should work Let's see how well it did it. Nice. I think that worked. Um, it's kind of cool. So maybe, maybe uh, it's kind of quiet right now. Um, let's just that first slice is is a little weird. <laughs> oh wait, I should probably disable Discord wherever that is. The heck, Protostar, stop messaging me. <laughs> Let's see. Why is that first slice um, sounding kind of kind of weird?
sometimes it's cool to um uh experiment with composing in ways that you haven't before so um it's one of the reasons why i love just like picking up instruments i haven't played before and just trying to figure it out <clears throat> um let's see let's get a let's get a drum rack in here um Let's just throw this this guy in here and see what happens. <laughs> it's all good, no worries, Proto. Um, I actually, I'm not sure why I can't. Uh... Oh, there it is. There we go. Now, you, now you can message me all you want. I, I have it. <laughs> I have it disabled. I couldn't find it at first. All right. Um. Wait, what the heck? Oh. Damn it. Um Oh, this kind of sucks. Um Hold on. I'm going to have to save this real quick and restart. Um so that VPS Metrum plugin that I use requires a dongle. Um and I actually have it unplugged right now. So, um I'm just going to save this as piano thing real quick. Um exit out of this. Um, and plug that bad boy in. Now we should be good to go. Um, yeah, I'm happy to happy to talk a little bit about my template. Um, I definitely plan to develop it a little bit more um for now uh I, I think like it's hard to find the right balance between having you know things to work with right off the bat and making sure that that doesn't give an idea too much direction if that makes sense uh sometimes like creating the sound design for a track from the ground up will create the character that it needs um that you need to hear to have the motivation to continue working on it um i've had templates in the past where i've had um uh like the same drum kit to start off with the same kind of synths and i found that it felt really uh like my writing approach felt really stale because of that so what i have right now um is obviously i just have this grand piano here um and this group here is called uh here i'll, I'll, I'll zoom in um, so you guys can see um, but yeah so I have one group here called perform this is where I put any uh, VSTs that um, I plan to perform in a track so if I do like a, a, a performance video or something like I'll always make sure to have to not like flatten or render any of the sounds in here um, then I have like a composition group here um, with literally just um, just serum that's all it is um the the initial patch that's there um and then i have drums and here is uh like a drum rack that i've um developed that i think i talked to you guys about a little bit with uh um just space for drums essentially no specific drums in there yet um and then the dummy that's already linked to uh the side chain um that i have on um all the different elements that are in the template um, and, uh, let's see. And then I just have like an effect group here. I have a reference, uh, track here just in case, uh, you know, there's, there's a particular track that I want to reference for mixing or, or sound design or whatever. And then, um, on my master track, I just have some really basic effects, uh, to mess around with. Um, and also like a reference rack to reference like, uh, you know, just the low end or, you know, this one I use just to reference different, uh, different ranges besides that. And like mono and stereo, um, really basic stuff. And then like this effect rack is also incredibly straightforward, just like some really, um, you know, just high pass, low pass, uh, reverb, delay, beat, repeat, um, and, uh, the big crusher, the redux. That's all I have in there. Um, it's just to get to get to get ideas flowing, um, and uh, and also to you know mess around with live if if I have like a, uh, you know if I'm messing around with an idea, then I can um, um, obviously 
add any of the effects that I have mapped on here. And like, you know, it, it just helps, I think, sometimes to to be able to have a more tactile response with, with uh, certain effects. Um, uh, but yeah, okay, so. <sighs> Um, okay. Anyways, so let's go back to uh, what I was just starting a second ago. Metrum should be loading now. Oh yeah, I forgot that you guys can hear that. <laughs> um, I just don't want to be getting any messages while I'm streaming, that's all. I like that. It's kind of fun to mess around with. Actually, I think I want more of a. I think I'm gonna go for a more floor to the floor kind of kind of vibe. So, let's grab this drum kit and throw it in there. This one has a, a has a, a kick that's a bit better suited for this, I think. Yep, let's put it to like 120. Heck yeah, that's a sick beat if I've ever heard one. Um. Then I want to start just chopping those uh, those piano chords a little bit. There we go, now the side chain is up. Oh, wait. This guy, this guy isn't plugged in yet either. Uh, there we go. kind of cool.
Let's try to work with that. Gotta start somewhere. some hi-hats in there. Something like that's good. Um, let's throw it in the drum rack. Ah, uh, that's not enabled. record this. I don't really like that that pattern too much. that a little bit better. Bum. 
So let's see. I'll throw this over. Whoops. Over here. Start off like this. Get rid of the loop. I'll low pass this. Hold on. Why is that? Don't. Uh, uh. There we go. Turn this guy on. Much better. the high has to pop in there trying to decide if I want more movement in the in that bass or not <laughs> do you guys want to say hi to uh, my manager's dog see over here hi doggo <laughs> doggo does he live with me <laughs> he, uh, he wishes well Herc, Herc is always welcome to live with me not my manager though here Herc is gonna lay down a, a bass line How am I supposed to follow that up? Herc just made me look like a fool.
like that. I like that. Quantize some of those hits. Boom back. <laughs> no, he does he doesn't just like pop into my place whenever he wants. Um we, we were uh we were hanging out earlier and um I wanted to start streaming. And uh, yeah, he kept working for a bit. He was hanging out here. is going to destroy my CPU, but I love D.Va. I think, uh, where, um, hmm, I think there was, I wonder if I have multi-core support on, because I know that there's a way to turn that on that helps significantly, uh, but let's just see if it what it's like for now. Uh, let's check out some leads. sounds in there.
I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. It's a little too high for me to even attempt singing. Whoops. Not that. Kind of cool. Um. Hmm. Let's see what some different chords sound like with that riff. actually just play it on the piano that works too Thank you. 
Hmm. It's a lot of fun to jam on, that's for sure. Let's go back to the original idea again. Kind of a fun little jam. I don't know if there's really much more to it that I'm hearing right now, but it's cool to mess around with. Um, I'm just gonna save this guy. Um, I'll render it as well, just to make sure that um, I can access it. Um, check it out, listen to it another time, and see if I have any additional ideas for it. Boom bap. All right, let's check out uh, some of the works and progresses that I've got. Uh, renders. Finish these. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, still have this guy. <laughs> Yeah, that one's cool. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's that thing. Did I st have I still not rendered? I still haven't rendered that properly. How how have I how have I not done that? That's hilarious. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna take care of this business right now. Actually, another thing I could do, I just realized, I could lay down uh, uh, some of the core like sampling uh, work to to redo uh, right up with me. That's definitely another tune I've been meaning to finish for a long time. Um, one sec, I'm gonna open the window. It's pretty hot in here. Sweet. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I was I was working on progressing the writing a bit. Yeah, I remember liking that um, that direction for the second drop. Um, 
want to get rid of this. I'm just going to render this and um, we're going to get rid of that. There we go. Uh, that's fine. things I do when I'm waiting for my audio to export. Work on my penmanship. That was supposed to be hello. Let me try that again. There we go. All right, sweet. I just really wanted to have a render of that. Um, oh yeah, and there was that other thing that we started yesterday too. Uh, with the uh, with the flute, somebody recommended I start a track with the flute, and then um, things were shaping up. I I kind of I kind of liked how it was sounding. <laughs> we're 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 not going back to the bagpipes, boys. That was a that was a one of a kind. Okay. Pitching on that is pretty extreme. Where's that? Envelope three? Feel like uh, if the master gets, uh, the reverb gets super wet, there might be a bit more contrast there. Those are strangely like I think I, I think I might want some more uh, stereo action on these guys. 
I haven't been using silent in a long uh, long time. Let's see what we can do here. Huh. Is that not? Is there like some kind of And then I feel like I hear like some kind of uh no uh something like echoing the voice leading in the chords uh maybe like slowly pitching upwards <laughs> something that's like pretty far off in the distance That'll do. Uh, and then end should be off to make sure that it only quantizes the start of these. Because uh, we want that glide in there. And then we shall remove the ends just to make those pauses a little more impactful. Or actually, hold on.
I feel like on its own, I really don't like how it sounds, but in the context of the mix, I really like how it sounds. I feel like it almost sounds cool as like a, an intro to something. Um, Anyways, I'm going to save this, uh, I'm not sure if I've actually exported this at all, um, 95, no, it's, it's not in here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to render this, so I have a copy of it to listen to as well. I do still have the guitar I used for uh, the schism. Um, but yeah, I'm also working on uh, on emotes as well. Here, I'll, I'll grab it real quick, actually. Nope. <laughs> as a piece literally falls apart. Um, I, I haven't restrung it in a hot minute. I really need to. Um, but yeah, that's it. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. What was I doing? I think I was gonna check out uh um. I actually didn't I post uh didn't I post um a clip of it to my Instagram uh, like a really long time ago? I think I may have. Um let's check that out. Instagram Haywire. It's funny because I don't oh, damn it. Hold on. Uh, I'm using this thing called Freedom that uh, prevents access to certain websites during certain times just to help with productivity. Um, so, anyways, let's, uh, let's check out, it was a really long time ago. I think it was one of the first Instagram posts I, I had. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, is this one? Right? Uh, I think, can't I like zoom in so you guys can see? Yeah, totally. So, um, uh, Let's see. There's so there's like the the vocal sample on top, obviously. Um, but everything else should be pretty easily recreated. Um, where was that? Oh, it was the piano thing. That's what what it was. I'm just gonna use this as a template to to work on work on that tune. Why did I switch from FL to Ableton? Uh, it definitely, well, um, first, uh, first off to comment on what the transition was like. I don't know, I feel like it affects everyone differently. For me, it was definitely um, 
it took me a hot minute to get used to to Ableton, um, just because I don't know. I'm a very like uh, I'm a creature of habit. Um, once I'm used to something, I'll I'll pretty much stick to that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I think like just visually working in a with a completely different piece of software definitely threw me off. Um, I don't know other people that affects them differently. You know, like working Ableton's compressor looks completely different. You know, it's like I, I was using uh, Pro Pro C and, uh, a lot, and like even though obviously the same concepts apply, it's a compressor just like any other compressor. It still still looks different, and like intuitively that threw me off a lot. And like I've been using Ableton for two and a half years now, and I'm still I feel like I'm still not anywhere even close to where I was with my comfort levels in FL Studio. But the reason that I switched was because um, essentially I was using Ableton for performing and FL Studio for producing. And I my line of reasoning was that I might as well use uh, the same software that I'm using to produce and perform because then my comfort and familiarity from producing will carry over to performing and like I'll, I'll learn more about excuse me I'll, I'll learn more about how to um, arrange my sets if I actually have uh, spend more time uh, using the software in the first place because I was spending so much time producing NFL and then I would just like you know slap a bunch of uh, like wave files into Ableton and be like okay well I don't really have too much time to to learn how to use this so I'll just do my best with what I what I got you know so now that I'm more familiar with Ableton I feel like I've been able to improve my sets um, but uh, but yeah so that's the idea and I feel like it's definitely served me well like there's a lot of really cool stuff in Ableton that um, FL didn't have like I feel like Ableton is definitely catered towards people that um, are instrumentally inclined like I feel like the the workflow that I have in here um, uh, works really well with um, you know just involving controllers and keyboards and and that kind of stuff whereas in FL Studio I feel like that wasn't really a big part of it um, of my workflow but yeah okay anyways um, spacing out there answering that question so let's uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of um, this. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's just replace that with um, with serum again. And let's see what the chords were. So one eighteen. Um, I don't think we need the, the other hi hat in there. Um, just so those are the chords. So what I could start doing is laying down, um, laying down a bunch of different uh, elements. Actually, I could do something similar to what was doing earlier with sampling the piano. I can just more or less create, try to create my own little sample library um, to work with with these hits. So let's get some strings going. this Omni, add another cello ensemble, that's staccato, 
turn that down. Might have to... That reverb is pretty intense. Um, just for the sake of jamming on this idea, I might get rid of a lot of it. So, I'm just going to record that. And then we can try to fine tune, fine -tune those hits. What the heck? There we go. Jesus. I'm gonna get rid of that uh, hold pedal action. Go. And then we can just draw in the length of the notes. Okay. Got And then we want, yeah. Sweet. Shorten this guy. I'm pretty sure that guy is unwanted. Yeah. Um, you know what? This is the same hit as earlier here. So if I'm going to be resampling this, I don't need to put that there. Um... And then I can have it loop so that I can slice these a little bit easier. There we go. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do more processing on it or if I should just render it now. Um, I'll just copy the MIDI um, at the very least. And that way um, I can recreate it if I, if I need to or if I feel like I need to. Then let's see, let's get that side chain. Um, I wonder. Let's see. I'm gonna try the slice to new, to uh, MIDI again, and see see what this ends up looking like. Um, okay, so we got that. Um, that's okay. It's got all this stuff mapped already. It's a little annoying. 
let's see, loop length uh, on map, on map the fade. All right. Let's unmap this. Shouldn't that fade be? It's not doing anything. Doesn't it normally like? That's weird. Let's try it. Let's see. If... Um. Slice snow. That's weird. Do something similar for this guy as well. Unmap, 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 unmap. I feel like there's something uh, preventing the fade from working properly. We'll just roll with this for now and then edit it later. Try to um, add some. Uh... What was the original like again? I forget. Yeah. So you know what? There's actually. Um... We're we're gonna go back to that young. Uh... The young the young pack, the young big fish. Um. Let's see. It's gonna take a hot minute to find the the, the right samples. 
Here, I can try to zoom in here, give you guys a better idea of what I'm doing. Let's see. I think this guy could come in handy at some point. So it's obviously really important here to find the chords that we're looking for. So we're starting off with, uh, I think it's just a G7. So any any um, sample here that is a 7, a minor 7, um, I should have clarified that. Any sample here that's a minor 7 that sounds like it could match the articulation and the hit on that downbeat is more or less what I'm looking for right now. And so if it's not G, it doesn't really matter because it can just be pitched and uh, EQ'd and, and messed with until it fits the mix. So like, that's actually a good example. It's probably not the right uh, sound to shoot for here, but... Um, Hold on, let's grab that compressor. So this, uh, let's see. Boom. So that's that's the G. Um, dum. Okay, and then we have the sample here. Oh, it's in the same key. Well, that's easy. So essentially the idea is we would just match the rhythm So this one's this one's a major seven, which is the next chord that we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that here. Um so this time we'll probably have to do some pitching though. So So that's just a G flat major seven. That's all it is, and this is. It sounds like a G G major seven. A G, yeah, G major seven. So just a half step up. The less transposition, um, the better, uh, because it just means that the sample has to be mangled less to actually uh, fit into the mix. So then here we have a slightly different chord. This isn't just uh um so it's moving chromatically. It starts at a G, then G flat, and then it goes to F. Um but now we have a ninth in there. So there's a there's a small chance that this will still fit. Just depends on like the harmonics in here, if there's any like underlying tones that, that uh we don't want. So let's put it two semitones lower. Sounds fine. So this chord is a little more difficult um, because it's uh, it's basically a polytonal chord. Um, it's a B flat major over C. So you can hear the the B flat major. But then there's a C 
um, as the root note underneath. Okay, so we can either we can try to look for what's what we can expect to find is probably more something more along the lines of just a major um, sample to throw in, but we'll have to pitch it to be B flat major. Um, if we're lucky, we'll find a B flat um, major over C sample, but kind of um, going to be difficult to find that. That magnifier was still hanging out up there. Wow. That's actually... That's so weird. That's actually literally the exact polytonal chord that I'm looking for. So we can slap that in there for now. It probably won't have the right like uh, timber, but probably have to find something. for now. I think the the clap in here was had a lo much longer tail. Yeah, so we'll we'll have to do some digging, see what we can find. Um, okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, claps. Just uh, let's see. Can get rid of this for now, and draw on the MIDI. we have to do is cycle through samples see something find something that's a little more accurate
there definitely should be some kind of movement. I'm going to throw serum effects in here instead. That's weird. Doesn't seem like the uh, the mod's actually doing anything, even though it's mapped to these guys. So that's what it should sound like. Hmm. It's unfortunate. I haven't actually used the um. A separate effects uh, plugin version of Serum very much, so maybe, uh, maybe they're still kind of working out some kinks in that or something. Um, what the heck, that's not at all what I wanted. Anyways, let's see. Uh, configure. Got these two, and then we're gonna map those to this. Was there already filter movement in there? Actually doesn't sound like there was much in there. I'm gonna get rid of that for now. wish that that sample would loop properly. I don't understand why the fade isn't working. Um. That piano sample is going to have to get changed. Let's see. I think that's really the the core of the process unfortunately 
is finding a, um, a sample with the right, uh, well, A, with the right pitches in it. It's got to be, gotta be playing either B major or B major over C. And, uh, yeah, from there... Um, it's just gonna have to get EQ'd and processed properly. So I don't know if this is the most exciting process, actually. That kind of sounds like the original. Let's, uh, let's copy this over here. I actually think that might be the one. Well, I don't know. I think I'm gonna save the the rest of this process for uh, for off stream because I really don't think that it's the most interesting thing to watch. But I am excited about being able to give uh, remaking this track a go. Um, let's see, originals, track project files. Um, finish these. All right, up with me. All right, well, uh, I think what we could do is we could do, uh, unless I unless I find something um, that I am really interested in working on right now, um, I think to wrap up the week, we can give you guys one more chance at creating, at creating a good a good uh, a good tune with me. Um, but first, let's listen through. Uh, through some stuff real quick and see if there's anything else that I feel like could be fun to touch up on. Good, good, uh, good framework. I think. I think it, it has like a lot of potential. Um, definitely needs a lot of fine tuning, especially in the intro. Um, all right, let's see what else is there.
you know what? Let's just uh let's let's do this. Let's let's create something new. We're gonna we're gonna make something together here, boys and girls. So, um let's see, what do we what do we start with here? Um yesterday we started with elements. Mongolian throat singing. Oh god. Air horns? Do I even have an air horn sample? <laughs> Do duck. <laughs> Start with drums, glitter. I don't even know what glitter is. Like, sample myself throwing glitter on the ground? Um, Foghorns. Let's see. <laughs> didgeridoo. I don't know, man. I feel like didgeridoo and bagpipes are too, too similar to, uh, to, to do that. I feel like it'd be this... Yeah. Um, arpeggiators. Sample. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, tabla drums. Xylophone. I, I actually, you know what? I'm down with the xylophone. I'm down. That one caught my attention for some reason. Let's do it. Let's add that xylo in there. Oh no, whoops. Um the heck. So maybe not under world, maybe under under band. Where you add xylophones? Okay, it's not any of these. Would it be under orchestral maybe? Percussion. There it is. Phones are sick. Let's do something with that. sure it's swung. Eh. I'm actually not sure if I'm... Let's try it not swung. Nah. Weird. <laughs> I feel like that, that the, the swing that I had was like it was somewhere in between straight and and swung. Kind of cool. Um, maybe that just means I wasn't playing accurately enough. <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's just do swung for now. Um. Let's get rid of the uh, the end. All right. Let's 
velocity on that first hit is pretty intense. All right, what, what do we want next? What do we want next? Sitar? That'll be interesting. Does the contact factory library even have sitar? It would be under world strings. Oh, it does! Register just like changes articulation. Wonder if I wanted a uh, solo or next steel drums <laughs> Gregorian monks that'd be pretty sick flute the crying souls of my slain enemies animal sounds forest birds hey I'm down with some forest birds let's add some forest birds Nothing like some Foley to spice things up. Let's see, Facebook, sample group. Um, birds and animals. <laughs> Maybe not that. Maybe not that either. <laughs> That that fits the vibe a bit better, eh? Thank you. 
right, what what are we <laughs> Tots you've been writing eight oh eights in the chat the entire time. You really want some eight oh eights in there, don't you? Uh what what do we want next? Needs a fat beat. Uh, we got some drums. I'd be down for that. Let's see. So, so far we had the xylophone, the sitar, some uh, some forest birds. Let's get some, get some drums going. Quantize that. Uh, thirds. There we go. Cool. We're getting somewhere. What What do we want now? We can't do slap bass again. We already did slap bass yesterday. <laughs> Tots, Tots is getting angry. Should I just add an arbitrary saturated sub blip in there to make you happy? Damn, you guys are feeling the bongos, huh? All right, all right. see what we got here um i'm assuming yep it's actually the same ones that i was using yesterday too cool let's uh let's make sure those are side chained oh wow nothing's being side chained right now let's make sure slap that Onto everything. Okay, uh. After this,
some some cello cello action. back oh god <laughs> he's returned so, uh, the stream up, sorry. <laughs> hello Herc they all think I'm a closet head in there <laughs> we have something to work with here <laughs> alright what, what should I give him what does he want does he want bongos we have a, a beautiful selection of sounds we have xylophone let's see, let's, let's see what he's got in the xylophone <laughs> I can't hear it, so I don't know. Hold on. There you go. Here. I'll I'll mute everything and now he can he can jam out. He's so indifferent to it. <laughs> how, how is he okay with this? He loves it. He's just chilling. What is it? What He's is happy it? to be on stream. What is the stream? Why is his nose dripping? Because <laughs> it's healthy when dogs' nose are wet. <laughs> I didn't know that. What is the stream thing about doggo? <laughs> they like him. That's good. <laughs> right, I'm heading out of here. I'll see you later. Cool, man. I'll see you. Um, all right, where were we at? Let's add those strings in. Actually, hold on. Those are the chords that I want. next <laughs> baseline baseline from Seinfeld a growly skrillexy sort of bass sound <laughs> For the sake of uh, keeping things short, let me see if I have something I can just slap in here. What do we got? Um, uh, filter bass, saturated bass, nice short bass, weird pluck, strange, serum fun. What is this? I don't know what the hell that is. Um, oh, good enough. Wait, what is that linked to?
All right, what's what's next, guys? I'll give you two more sounds to add, and then we're gonna call it quits. Choir, choir could be cool. Definitely not my vocals. Ooh, harp. I might be down to add some harp. That could be cool. I feel like we need some low end here, though. I feel like we already got our our fill of slap bass action yesterday, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything Seinfeld related. Sorry to disappoint. Um, all right, where to, where where to harp at? Let's see, right here. I like that. Sure, it's quantized to triplets. L low end piano. Wait, so. Two octaves for each hand? Two hands, two octaves? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so four octaves total? Let's see. Hold on, we have to fix that uh that second bass note. My growl. Sharp, sweet. Cool, and then we'll 
we'll get rid of that. Quantize that. And then, where's that side chain at? Sweet. Did it, guys. Good job guys. I'd say as a collective you have improved tenfold since yesterday. Um, thank you guys for making that. Uh, quite a bit of fun to work with. Yeah, alright, well um, listen, I appreciate you guys uh, coming to hang out and watching these streams. Um, I've had a really good time and I feel like I've also uh, gotten quite a bit done. And uh, yeah, I, I really wanted to uh, take a week, a week where I knew um, I'd have enough time to, to stream quite a bit. Um, and you know, um, that's what I ended up doing. And, uh, and yeah, I, I, had a, I had a lot of fun. Um, so uh, moving forward, the way that I pictured streaming is um, uh, it'll, it's not gonna be five times a week. Although there will be times where I'll be able to do that again, um, and uh, it, it just kind of depends on what my schedule is like with with shows and and other obligations and stuff. Um, but uh, what I plan on doing is I want to release my schedule like uh, maybe before every week or something, um, and uh, hopefully that gives you guys enough uh, enough time to kind of prepare and, and check things out if you want to but you know regardless of course the videos will be in the archive as always um, so if you want to check them out after the stream you can it's not a big problem um, but uh, but yeah um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the project um, since this since it's yours uh, what do you guys what do you guys want me to name it give, give me something good give me something spicy
spicy bananas. Eight oh eight's gone missing. <laughs> Frame drop. <laughs> um somehow Frame Drop actually sounds like it could be a song name. Dawn of Twitch, Twitchy. My first song. I kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards frame drop right now, to be honest. What do you guys think? Frame drop it is. Let's do it. Frame drop. It's saved, boys. Someday we're gonna look back at this at this moment in our lives and we'll realize that it was the most significant experience we've ever had. Um anyways, that's all I got for today, unfortunately. Um but like I said, um I definitely uh am excited to you know, just keep doing this, and uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I still have a lot of stuff to figure out. You know, obviously the stream quality is one thing. The uh, the emotes and like uh, sub icons and stuff. Um, that's all stuff I want to work on. And uh, and yeah, I guess we'll just figure out um what um how to announce the schedules in a way that um works well for you guys. Um. But yeah, I'm thinking like, you know, let's say like if I were to do it like every Sunday, um, I could say like, oh, yeah, this week I'll have um, streams, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever. And uh, I'll, it'll give you guys a bit of time uh, to uh, be able to um, tune in if you want um, and make tunes with me or watch me make tunes or whatever. But yeah, regardless, I'll keep you, to, you guys updated on if I'm streaming this weekend. Um and uh and yeah thank you guys again i think that's it for now um but yeah cheers i'll see you next time peace guys <laughs>